I usually agree with you, but this vid seems preachy as if you're Bible thumping and pushing your personal religion on others. You were also sexually immoral in order to have multiple children out of wedlock, so I don't understand the judgmental tonality. DJ Act been a perv and a a-hole, and men and women have always been promiscuous since the Bible days. Jesus befriended a prostitute. This video comes off as if as if now that you're living in your purpose and married and no longer sexually immoral, you're belittling others who you were just as sexually immoral as not too long ago. That's really hypocritical. I could never speak like this because I also have two kids out of wedlock. Just my opinion, but I'll leave a light for the algorithm. My point is, we gotta take accountability. I know people get done wrong every day. I know that there's a lot of women that get tricked by a lot of men. I know there's a lot of irresponsible people having sex without uh, protection. And you thinking, oh, it's just this one time and, and it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna have any long lasting effect on me, but it will. And I can also tell you this, it's no secret. I done talked about this in several videos. I myself have been in that same cycle, you know, in my own life, you know? And I went through a period of time where I was angry about the situation that I was in when my kids were born because I was going through all kind of manipulation and uh, family court and custody battle and begging to see my kids and everything else and I blamed everybody except myself I was angry as a matter of fact when I first started my channel one of the one of the topics that I talked about a lot on my channel was how fair the court unfair the court system is I talked about my experience going through custody court, trying to uh, let other men know, hey, be careful out here when you just having sex and doing this and doing that, because you can end up in a situation where you want to see your kid and you can't. You know what I'm saying? I was very, I was in a different type of mindset, mind state back then because of what I was going through. So I would go to court and I record a video talking about how frustrating it is to go through it. But the thing that gave me healing, the thing that made me realize that I wasn't no victim the way I was feeling like I was, was when I came to the realization that if I had been living the way I should have been living, the Bible is clear. Like I said in my last video, sex before marriage is a no-no. If I had been living my life the way the Bible says, I wouldn't have never been in that situation. So, being that I consciously decided to do what I was doing, there is no way for me to sit around here and blame nobody else. That's called taking accountability. The custody battle and everything else that I went through, my kids crying, my daughter crying, when it's time for me to drop her off and stuff like that, I made a video talking about that. It got a whole lot of views, it blew up. That video is where I was taking accountability because my daughter cries, well at the time she used to cry when it was time for me to drop off to her mama. That was my fault. I brought her into this world the wrong way. She wouldn't be crying and all that when it's time to drop her off to her mama house because we got 50-50 custody and all that kind of stuff. If I had been living my life the way God want me to live. So, and then she said in the comment, she said that uh, in the comment that I'm talking about, she said that I'm Bible thumping and I'm sounding preachy. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I don't push my religion on nobody. It is what it is. Whatever you got going on in your life, that's your business. It ain't no group breaks to get to heaven. I'm going to be standing in front of God. When it's misjudgment day, the same way you is. I can't get you in, you can't get me in. So whatever you decide to do, as far as religion go, that's your business. But I can tell you this. 
who I am, <laughs> who I am as a person is directly because of who I believe in. It was a point of time where I was a complete screw up. I done talked about that as well. I'm very transparent. I done talked about how I was a screw up, how I did all kind of crazy stuff in the past. And when I decided to give my life to God, when I told God, if he fixed me, if he changed me, if he helped me get out of the darkness that I was in, whatever I do good in life, I'm going to make sure everybody know where it came from because it's, it's from him. I know where it come from. So I'm not shy about telling nobody where it come from. I'm, I'm sorry if you feel like I'm being preachy and, and I'm, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, hey, you follow me or you subscribe to my channel because you like who I am. Well, now you know why I am the way I am. I wasn't this person once upon a time. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of my videos hit home because they come from a place where I made the mistakes. I did the things that I warned women about. And I made the mistakes and did the the the, the thing the damage that I warned men about doing. So I ain't somebody that's just sitting up here just looking at people and oh this person is wrong and that person no. I'm talking about myself in a, in a lot of cases. I'm trying to protect people from making the mistakes that I done made in my past. I'm trying to protect, I'm trying to equip women like my daughters. My daughter gonna grow up and she gonna, it's gonna be these, the same type of dudes most likely when she grow up and get of date and age. I'm trying to warn my daughter about, hey, look out for this, don't go for that, don't fall for this, carry yourself like this, attract a better quality man, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, is rooted in my experience you know so being a hypocrite no I'm not no hypocrite I'm just somebody that I did things I realized okay when I used to do this it messed my life up when I used to do that I got the consequences from that it didn't feel good what kind of man would I be if I had these experiences and I know that my community need as much help as it can get. And I don't say nothing about it. I just hold that to myself and I hey, and I talk to just my kids. Hey, Mason, MJ, Michaela. Y'all do this, y'all do that. And then send them off into the world where it's a whole bunch of people that don't have this information and they not getting talked to by their daddy about uh, what they should and shouldn't do. So they gotta go to school with these kids that's gonna potentially hurt them because they ain't, this information ain't out there. People ain't talking to their kids about what's real and, 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 you know what I'm saying, giving them real principles to live off of. They just caught up in whatever they got going on and, and not really being the father. Like a lot of kids, I get emails and DMs from women all the time talking about how their son, they're afraid that their son won't have a good positive male role model in their life. So I got to put these videos out. Everybody need to put these kind of videos out. If you want to see something change, how am I being hypocritical by saying, hey, I did this. Please, y'all, please, I'm begging you. It's not a good, it's not a good situation to be in. Don't do it. You know, there's some people that's hard-headed and be like, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, let me show you this. <laughs> Let me show you this paperwork that I got that proved that I went through this. And I'm going to show y'all the stack of text messages that I had to bring to court. And let me show you this. And let me, you know what I'm saying? It's needed. Now, I understand if I made you feel some type of way because you in this in this situation. And maybe you haven't got to that point where you've been able to take accountability and, and point the blame at who to blame need, uh, need to be shared with. You know what I'm saying? It may not be all your fault. You probably thought that your your, your boyfriend or your ex or, or ex-husband or whatever was going to be that guy. And he did you wrong. You know what I'm saying? You could have thought he was going to marry you, marry you and he could have been telling you all kind of sweet nothings to get you believe, to believe that. And then he, he, then he hit you with the, the uh, 
the 42 fake out that could be possible but like i said it goes back to to the to the to the core of what i'm talking about if we save sex for after you had a marriage you wouldn't have had your children like that and that go for me too i'm just being real you know what i'm saying i got I'm, I'm real with myself i'm real with you i can't be real with y'all and not be real to myself that's being hypocritical if i sit up here and, and ignore the fact that i had all these issues and work through all this stuff and then i just wake up one day and decide nah i ain't did none of that i'm just gonna preach to people and tell people what they need to do with their life and make people believe that everything being all peaches and cream for me no all of my videos my topics the the the, the spirit that i speak from the love that i have for people all of it come because of what i went through it come from my past when i was out here doing all kind of dumb reckless stupid immature uh <laughs> I was doing, man, listen, <laughs> I really could write a book about just dumb stuff that I did and the consequences that came from it because I didn't get away with nothing. Nobody get away with nothing. You think you go, it's, it's going unnoticed and all that, but it's not. And that's one of the reasons that I make these videos because I want to try to stop people from going down that road. It's not fun being a single parent. I'm pretty sure there's most single parents will say the same thing that I'm saying. I would hope that they telling young young ladies and, and young men, hey, listen, don't you know what I'm saying? Come calm down. You horny and all that. You going through your, your your hormones and stuff, but chill out. Let me show you something. Each one gotta teach one. So that's why I make my videos. Like I said, you know, I understand that. Not everybody is going to agree with what I say. I know I understand that sometimes what I say is going to rub people the wrong way. But it can't I can't stop doing what I'm doing because I'm doing it for a reason. I'm not just out here talking just to be talking. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here just just saying whatever that come to my mind just cuz I feel like yeah, I got to keep the the views coming in. If you notice I really don't go as hard on YouTube as I could. Like you see me get in this car and I pull up to work every day. My job is my real income. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't motivated by just doing, just getting a whole bunch of views. I got a job, I got a career. I do this because I really want to help people. So for those of you, most of you, y'all understand my heart. Y'all see my heart. Y'all know that I'm coming from a sincere place. But every now and then, you get somebody that, you know, they, they take something a certain type of way because maybe whatever I say was something that I said might convict them. It might move them or make them feel guilty or it may even hurt them. I don't know. But that's not my intention. My intention ain't to hurt people. My intention is to wake people up. And I hope y'all can see that. But I'm going to cut this video off right here. I'll see y'all on the next one.